Okay, so let's get started. Now the two supplies we need right now are gonna be permanent markers. I've got a variety of different brands. And then Solo Cups. These happen to be the nine ounce variety. Um, they need to be kind of on the shorter side so they are wider on the lip portion where you would drink out of and then shorter on the, the bottom part or more narrow on the bottom part. So this one, I think I'm just going to turn it into a flower. And so I'm using yellow to make my kind of center yellow color. And then I just wanna make sure that all of the clear plastic cup part is all covered by the marker. And that just to make sure that everything um, is nice and, and clean on that side. Now I'm just gonna make a flower petal shape and I'm just gonna kind of repeat this step and do as many sh petal shapes as I can. They don't need to be perfect at all because this is going to go in the oven and it's gonna melt and it's gonna go all kinds of twisty shapes. And so now I'm just going to fill in, oops, I'm down a little bit far, but I'll come back up. But um, you just wanna fill in the shapes of the petals. And I'm using this bright magenta color and I think that this is going to be really pretty um, on contrast with the yellow. And so now I'm just going to fill in the rest of the petals and then I'll start on the next one. All right, I'm gonna start on the second one. And for this, I'm going to use orange as my center of my flower on this one. And then just make sure that it's all covered. And this marker is actually working a lot better than that first yellow marker. Um, and it's doing a good job covering everything. And you wanna make sure that you get inside all of the little um, lettering and, and marks and imprints on the bottom of the jar. Excuse me, not jar cup. I'm just going to take this little pink and yellow one and make little dots as just to kind of add more interest and more depth for that flower. And so you can just see I just did a bunch of little dots there. Now it is going to get a little bit smaller and so those dots will condense down so I don't want them to be too big but just kind of little detail. Now I'm just going to take an orangish, it's kind of an orangish blue marker really, and I'm just going to make a bunch of different petal shapes and this one I'm going to overlap some and I'm not worried about what the lines look like at all because it's all going to get filled in and like I said before it's going to go in the oven and it's going to twist and melt and get all kinds of cool shapes and so you don't want to be too technical at all because if you are seeking for perfection in this project it is just going to be thrown out the window when you get to the oven section so don't worry about it just kind of let it go and just kind of get the essence of some flower shapes in here. And so I just want to make sure that I fill every part in really nicely. Now, um, in my petal shapes, I've avoided the upper rim where the, you would drink out of. 
um, because I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to cut out the flowers um, from the cup. So I'm just going to continue and keep that going and then we'll start the next um, flower cup. Okay, so I've got two flowers done, and now I'm gonna start with some leaves. And I am going to kind of do several different leaves. I don't know what this is going to turn out like. Um, this is kind of a little bit of an on-the-spot experiment. And so I'm going to see what it's like to put this in the oven and then be able to break it apart and turn it into leaves, because I don't want it to be like a cup in a cup type situation but anyway we'll see when we get to the oven part of what it does so I am going through and I'm just making marks so it looks like a leaf and then I'm gonna fill in with a lighter green color and just create some more interest and more um, depth and detail in it and so I've got this light green shade that I'm just gonna go through the middle, or excuse me, this the bottom of the cup, and then I'm gonna fill in all of the clear parts of the actual leaf shapes. Okay, now I'm just gonna finish filling in the leaf with the light green, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut these shapes out. And so I'm gonna grab my scissors. Now, if you are a child watching this, you will want to get the help of a grown up, just because cutting plastic in this, this shiny plastic cup like this, it tends to be a little bit slippery. And so you'll want to get help, or at least have um, help right there near you just in case um, you need a little bit of stronger hands because it is a little tricky to get the scissors cutting the plastic um, but I'm just following the shape of my outline and I want to cut out all of my clear spots where I've got no marker no designs now because this leaf I want to separate it eventually and so I'm cutting it towards the middle I don't want it to cut all the way through I just want to cut probably just more than halfway so I've got a little bit around and then I just go ahead and do the same thing but with the flowers I like to cut the lip off that upper ring that you drink out of that side I like to cut that off to begin with and then just go around and um, soften up the shapes a little bit now now is your opportunity if there's some sh petal shapes that are just completely wackadoodle um, you can go ahead and um, make those more in line with your other petals at this point. And now with this one, I just need to get that little piece off. And then I'm going to start to cut down each petal um, because I want them to kind of fan out when it melts um, instead of to be one kind of congealed 
blob. I want to, I'll show you in just a second. I want to lay it flat. And so I kind of want it to spread like that a little bit. It won't totally, but that's kind of the idea that I want. And so that's why I've cut those little slits on the leaves. Now with the petals, with the leaf, I didn't cut around the, the lip of the cup, but I think with the petals, it sure makes it a lot easier. Um, and I'm just gonna go around and do the same thing that I did on the other flower shape, minus cutting all the way down to the bottom. Now this one, I'm just going to cut um, to the pink, to the outline is basically what it is. And so then we'll just continue to go from here and now that I'm thinking about it, I think aesthetically it's going to look better if I've got three flowers because usually um, odd numbers look better in a grouping. And so like three, five, seven. And so I think I would, instead of just two flowers in the leaves, I'm going to make another um, flower with another cup. And now I just want to come in here and add some detail. I'm just taking a, f a purple marker and just kind of adding the ribs of the, and kind of the high, or the shadows of the ribs on a, a nice little flower. And so that I'm liking a lot. And so now let's get, um, let's see, let's get this one cut down a little bit more, just so when it, when we put it in the oven, it is sure to um, separate and kind of curl up. Now I'm just cleaning up the shapes on these and kind of rounding off some of the corners that were a little bit blunt cut. Okay, so that is going well. Now let's start my third flower. I think I'm going to do some red petals, but for the middle, I think I'm going to do some yellow and then I'll put some orange and red in with it. So we're gonna make a real warm colored um, flower. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of lines. And so then it's gonna make a fun little frilly kind of flower in the end. So I'm just coming, in, coming from the middle and going to the outer edges. Now I'm just gonna draw my little shape of my flowers. I'm just gonna go around and around. Like I said, this does not need to be perfect or anywhere near perfect because it's gonna get really um, melted and it's gonna go all kinds of different ways when it goes in the, in the oven. So don't worry at all. This is supposed to be the messy, fun, creative part. And then we get to um, explore and see what happens with uh, it when it comes out of the oven what we have to work with. So I'm just gonna fill this in with the red and a bunch of red lines and then orange and yellow to create some visual interest in there. Alrighty, and so now we're to the cuttings part. I'm gonna cut off that upper lip and then just cut into each of the shape of the flowers. And then we'll get ready for the fun part where we, well, this is fun too, but the fun part where we get to see it melt in the oven. And coloring or cutting the, out the clear sections I think I want to add a little bit more interest on this flower. I'm going to put little snips, just maybe a quarter of an inch or less into each of the um, flower petals. 
and I know I'm doing it down this way and so you can't see very well but it's because I can see better <laughs> while I'm trying to do it but I will come up and show you on this pedal um, coming up here and show you that I'm just making little notch cuts into the floral or flower petals and so just little bitty ones and my hope is that it will kind of curl up and create some more interest so in just a second we'll be ready for the oven okay I've got everything ready to go in the oven and this is how I'm gonna do the leaf and the pink one are gonna be flipped up and now mine only took about a minute in the oven so don't walk away at all make sure that you're right there and you stay super close because it will do all kinds of things super super fast okay so once again 350 degree oven for just about a minute let them cool just a titch and then you'll want to kind of start bending them out a little bit now you'll need help from a, a grown-up because they're going to be kind of warm kind of a little bit hot to warm but you'll want to bend them out so i kind of uncurled my um, flower petals and this is what i've got working now but just make sure 350 degree oven you need a grown-up helper and make sure that you watch them super super closely because these took less maybe about a minute maybe a little bit even less than a minute and so watch them super super careful but i think this will be fun i'm going to separate these leaves and then i think i'm going to make kind of like a little floral arrangement totally not how we started out this or how i started out this project with my thought process but i'm really excited with the way this is changing because it looks really fun and I like the way the little flowers did each of their own thing. And so let's go back into the studio. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I lost a little bit of video here. And so it's a little bit fast forwarded to the flowers already together. I've just got a hot glue gun and I have kind of put them together. Um, I've glued one on top of the other. And then just make sure you've got all of your contact points where they're kind of connect to each other. Make sure that those um, have glue on them just to make sure that they're super secure. And so I'm just putting a little bit of glue right in between those two petals where they meet. And so, like again, I apologize that I don't know what happened. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I'm so sorry. But so I've got all three of my flowers glue gunned together. And now I've cut apart my leaves and I want to attach my leaves in a pretty little arrangement. And so, well, I've got this gonna get stuck now be careful again glue gun you'll need help from a grown-up because gosh that glue gets super super hot and you don't want to get burned and so I'm just going to see how these flowers look pretty because I've got four flower or four um, leaves I kind of want to follow that same rule of threes and so I want to put two together and then a one leaf and another leaf so then I have three little pockets of flowers and so this one in this little section I'm gonna put two excuse me I keep saying flowers but I'm gonna put two leaves right here so I just put some glue on that contact site where the leaf is gonna meet the flower and then hold that there make sure you're super careful and then let that dry a little bit and come in with that second flower or leaf and I think that that's gonna look pretty kind of tucked back in there and then that covers that little center section but I didn't want to cut out that part of the of the cup of the middle part because I knew I wanted to um, attach the uh, leaf somehow and so I like that we have this little piece to work with um, that doesn't have the detail but it gives us the ability to attach them really nicely. So I'm just tucking that in there and having it getting right in tight. And then I'm gonna go in for the next leaf. With hot glue, you have a little bit to position it exactly the way you want. But then once it has cooled, girlfriend, it is solid. <laughs> you don't wanna go around um, change in your mind so kind of look at it and kind of commit to where you want it to be so I think over here kind of to the right but up just titch I think will be a nice one okay so 
I've got this one here and I'm pretty sure that that's gonna look nice right there but now I want to come in with my other leaf and see where I want to put it because I can always change my mind with this one but I want to make sure that because once I attach that with glue it is permanent and so I want to make sure and kind of hold them out and see let's see if I put this one in here and then I think I like the way this one kind of fits in there and then that right up there because you kind of have to work with the shape of the leaf Ooh, I like that I like how that one tucks in so let me get the glue and we'll just put glue on that contact site where it's gonna attach to the flower and then just tuck that under the petal and hold a little bit from the bottom and it gets a little bit hot so you got to be careful but just make sure that that holds its contact real nicely and then we'll go ahead and add our final leaf and see how that one's gonna tuck in see that's why I like to be able to um, switch around a little bit and have an idea of what I want to do before I attach everything because you can totally change your mind <laughs> so I like how those two are sitting right there and then I've got this third one right up here at the top well it's not necessarily the top but it's for our purposes right now it's the top so I'm just gonna get the glue gun put glue on the contact site once again where it's gonna touch the petal and then attach that in and have to get rid of all of my stray glue gun Hairs, but just got to make sure that is all nice and attached now one piece of advice that I have heard I haven't done it myself but when using a glue gun some people have said to have a bowl of ice water right next to you so in case you do get hot glue on your fingers you can um, dip it in ice water and it won't burn you um, I haven't done that but it seems like a good idea now I'm just going to have this flipped over and put some more hot glue on the little contact sites just where I haven't been able to see but I want to make sure that those leaves stay on there and so I'm just going to come in and fill in a little bit not too much because you don't want it to to come through but I'm just wanting to make sure that everything is nice and secure and then <laughs> get our little glue gun stray hairs off and that it actually looks pretty from the bottom side but there we have it there's our little sculpture that turned out super fun um i'm really pleased with how this turned out that could be a really cute bouquet for mother's day or for a teacher appreciation or grandparents day um, you could even make it into a corsage or something like that I hope you guys had fun and thanks for watching. I'll include a little video in here with a little close up of the details of our little project. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and hit that subscribe button right down there in the bottom right corner and hit the bell button if you want to receive notifications for when I post weekly videos. I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below if you have any questions or ideas for videos that you would like to see in the future. Have a great day.